Next up here is DLPH, Delphi. A very interesting pattern here as it has gapped up on the previous earnings and came down, tested once, put in new high, and has now tested the low again. At least implies that we could see another new high, maybe the next runner up to uh, $100 a share here with the Internet of Things, autonomous driving, all that kind of stuff. Uh, they are an OEM manufacturer. They do make a lot of things for cars. So that could impact the fundamental side of Delphi. Technically speaking, because I have been following this name for a while, I do want to go ahead and look at the longer term chart here. Uh, all time high is 90.57, which is not too far away from where we're at right now. And it is potentially looking at, looking like a possible breakout candidate here uh, over these highs. The weekly time frame, uh, not too, too encouraging although it has now run up to these highs and is testing and may potentially be putting in a higher low here in relation to this last dip. So I may look at this as a longer term swing type of trade for a continued move to all time highs. Before it does that though, I want to go ahead and look at here the intraday time frame for basically uh, just a trade here. So I'll be looking at the breakout that has already occurred at 86.10 because it has already broken out. I will look for a pullback into support here at 86.10 and I'll put my stop down here just below VWAP if price does continue higher uh, well VWAP should come up anyways because price higher has already come up higher as long as it doesn't get down and sell off hard the VWAP should still come up and meet price somewhere up around this area here and one more thing that I will want to draw on here is this tail right here at 86 and a quarter put in basically uh, what looked like a area of price discovery where sellers did try to try to take over and from that point on it's no longer bearish. And my move over this 8 period exponential moving average does imply that there is momentum back in the name at 86.70. Not necessarily a candidate for an open and drive type of play so I'm not going to do anything on the open immediately however if it does gap up I will be looking for a gap and go type of entry here and price target for any kind of entries uh, will be a little greedy here and look for a move up to about 88.20. This will be my plan for Delphi going forward and we'll see what happens tomorrow.